What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome to another installment of my John Singleton Marathon. We're actually at the last film in his filmography. That means today's review is a review of the 2011 action film, Abduction. Before I go any further, I will leave a link down in the description below of all the movies I've tackled in the John Singleton Marathon, seeing this was his last movie. The, his filmography is now complete on my channel, so you'll see reviews of movies like Boys in the Hood, Higher Learning, Poetic Justice, Too Fast, Too Furious, Four Brothers, Rosewood, you name it. If you're a John Singleton fan, definitely check the link down below to see more. So Sam the Abduction was the final movie directed by John Singleton before his recent passing earlier this year. And in the film, a young man sets out to uncover the truth about his life after finding his baby photo on a missing person's website. This young man is played by Taylor Lautner, and the movie also stars Lily Collins, Alfred Molina, Jason Isaacs, Maria Bello, and Sigourney Weaver. Abduction was a movie that I had heard about when it came out in 2011, but I had never heard good things about the film, and I wasn't interested in seeing the film, because around the time Abduction came out, Taylor Lautner was still riding high on his Twilight fame, and obviously, not a Twilight fan, so why would I want to see sparkly, shirtless wolf boy <laughs> leading an action film? Uh -uh, I can't do that, so I never saw the film, but then as soon as I came to the realization that John Singleton directed this film, and this is for the marathon, I'm like, oh wow, I gotta get into this, huh? Let's get it over with. This movie is pretty bad. <laughs> it really baffled me that John Singleton signed on for this film, because watching this film, there is no trace that the greatness of John Singleton as a director is on this film. I have a feeling like with Too Fast, Too Furious, he just quickly signed his name for this film just to get a quick paycheck. That That's not what I like for directors to do. This is another one of those sellout films. And it's really sad to see because the filmmaking in this film was pretty abysmal actually. Not just on a directing standpoint, but the cinematography is so bland in this film like this movie a lot of, a lot of times this movie looks unprofessionally made it looks like it was made by an amateur and we're talking about john singleton here the guy behind boys in the hood and rosewood two fantastic films and higher learning even when he did four brothers which was a kind of a dumb escapist blockbuster it still had the filmmaking to back the film up, and I had a blast with that film, but Abduction fails on almost all levels, and it's mostly an action film. The action in this movie is so by the numbers, they are so staley directed, so stale, so dry. Pretty much any action set piece in this film has been done before, just done better, and it left me feeling empty, to be honest. Uh, there's also a thriller aspect in here, as our main character is trying to find his true identity. There's kind of like a born identity mystery angle type vibe, but you know, just without the real suspense that the Bourne movies had. Here I'm just like, oh, where is this going? Where is this going? And the movie doesn't really go anywhere with its premise. I mean, it sets up that, you know, there's a possibility that he was abducted as a kid. But the twists of the film were revealed in the first third of the movie. And there's no real shocks after that. As soon as they establish who he actually is and what actually happened to him, the, the movie doesn't really go anywhere with it. And it really felt like a waste of time. There's also a romance in here uh, where... Taylor Lautner ends up falling in love with his high school crush, played by Lily Collins. Very uninteresting stuff. Uh, they don't really have the best chemistry with one another, and Lily Collins has proved herself to be a good actor. She gave a great performance this year in the Netflix film, uh, the Ted Bundy 
biopic with Zac Efron. She was fantastic in that. But here, I think I don't. I think it has to be the writing because the writing in this film is really bad. I mean, holy cow! This some of the dialogue in here. I was just rolling my eyes. And it doesn't really back up the characters. Throughout the film, Taylor Lautner's character uh, has, has been trained to be an effective fighter, and you think he'd be intelligent. And they have this on-the-run fugitive-type story, but they make these stupidest decisions. He and his girlfriend make these stupidest decisions throughout this entire movie to where they go past the point of no return, and I don't really care for them anymore. And particularly... You know, you know how most of these fugitive movies go. Uh, when the government tracks you down, they you know they hack into the cell phones and your computers and everything to make to make it easier to track them down. Uh, well, Lautner uses his cell phone throughout the entire movie, leading for them to show up every other scene. And you think he learned after the first time? Hey, they're tracking my cell phone. I should just stop. But no, he keeps doing the same stupid crap. You think he'd watch some of these spy movies or something? You think that would... <laughs> Has he watched a spy movie? You gotta talk about Taylor Lautner in this film because Taylor Lautner is headlining this film. Does he sell it as our lead? Heck no. <laughs> he is awful in this movie. Not once the buy him as an action star. He just fell off in this film, and the writing and the direction wasn't there either. And mix that with an actor that's not... I haven't really seen him in a great movie. I, I don't know if he's a credible actor or not. Uh, besides Twilight, does anybody remember Shark Boy and Lava Girl? His acting is about as stale as Hayden Christensen at times, but worse. And I never bought this character in the slightest. I mean, they established that he's a character that has anger issues and is very impulsive, yet during the high school segments of the film, he's in a wrestling class. I mean, it, the writing is just as bare bones and implausible and very stupid that movie makes all these writing mistakes and casting mistakes that all you're left with is a really awful, abysmal movie. And Taylor Lautner is just, uh, he is not good in this movie. Uh, Lily Collins is a little bit better, but she's not given much to do in this film. And they waste a lot of cast in this movie. I mean, Jason Isaacs, I really like as an actor. He's given almost nothing to do. The biggest insult was Sigourney Weaver. And she was a character that was set up to be probably the most interesting of the whole movie. But then they write her out of the film after the first half hour. And I was just like, really? Sig you waste Sigourney Weaver. Ellen Ripley. Come on now. One positive I can say is the only actor that seemed fully invested in the movie is Alfred Molina as one of the CIA agents. He seemed like he was enjoying his role. So I'll give him props for that. Other than that, this movie is garbage. Abduction is among the worst action movies I've ever seen. From how bland and bare bones this movie looks and feels, to John Singleton's empty, soulless direction. And I say this is far worse than Too Fast, Too Furious. At least Too Fast, Too Furious has a solid performance in there. And the cinematography in that movie is at least professional. This movie looks like it was made by a first-year amateur at a film school. Don't know what Singleton was thinking here. And it really pains me that Singleton ended his film career with this film. I think this movie was received so bad that it discouraged him from directing another movie. Singleton went on and did TV work up until the time of his death. It really leaves a souring legacy because Abduction ended his career on a really, really bad note. And obviously he can't do anything to change that now since he's not alive anymore. And it's it's sad because this is from the director who did Boys in the Hood, Rosewood, Poetic Justice, Higher Learning, Four Brothers, Shaft. All really good films. Some better than others, of course. But this is sad. Dry action. 
abysmal performances like Taylor Lautner, a wasted cast, terrible writing, all around an awful movie. I don't recommend it unless you want your eyes tortured for an hour and 45 minutes over the crap you just watched. Or if you want to do a John Singleton marathon and you're forced to watch this, but this movie is just bad. I don't recommend it in the slightest. And at the end of the day, I am going to rate Abduction 0.5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, a 3 out of 100. So that was my review of Abduction. Closing out the John Singleton Marathon. A terrible way to end the filmography of the late John Singleton. Expect a ranking on this channel soon of all the John Singleton films from worst to best. And that leaves me another slot opening on the, who, what director I'm going to do next. Uh, I got a request uh, a while back uh, from Kent Kentley on two directors I should tackle. And that one of them was Francis Ford Coppola, which I'm currently doing. Uh, and the other one I'll start, thanks to his suggestion, is Tony Scott. Uh, I can't wait to go into Tony Scott. And it, probably good timing to start Tony Scott because uh, Top Gun 2 is coming out next year. Tony Scott directed the first film. So that gives me an excuse to review Top Gun on this channel. There'll be some interesting movies from this director. I'm not as familiar with Tony Scott as a filmmaker compared to his brother, Ridley Scott, who's one of my favorite directors. So it'll be interesting to see the movies Tony Scott made over the years. I'll be starting the Tony Scott Marathon really soon with his directing debut, a movie called The Hunger. Not that familiar with that movie, so it'll be interesting to check that one out. But going back to Singleton, if you've seen Abduction, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? Whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If your comments are respectful, your comments can be potentially seen in future comment shout out videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!